Hi, in this slide we're going to measurably look at uh, relative defection rates of customers from one competitor to another. Uh, this is a very uh, well-studied industry, the grocery industry, and it turns out that in the grocery industry, a given grocery store, on average, this isn't all grocery stores, but the average grocery store is going to lose 25% of their customers every year. Now, what happens is 11% of those 25 are actually because people died or moved away. But fortunately, people, new, new people are born and new people move in. So the actual net loss uh, of, of, of per capita, shoppers buying food at that store, is actually 14%. Now imagine that there are two stores side by side. One is average and one is exceptional. And the exceptional store is so clean and it's so light and bright and well-maintained and the, the, the service staff is so chipper and consistent and they don't turn over. And they just, they just retail as detail. They really take, take care of everything so the shelves look great, uh, stuff is always well stocked and so forth. Uh, they don't give customers statistically uh, reasons to get upset. So what happens is maybe they inadvertently, because they can't be perfect for all people all the time, drive away 4% of their customers to the competition, but the competition is driving 14% of their customers to the service excellence place. So what happens is the service excellence place is growing 10% a year in, a, in, a, in an industry that's, you know, just basically growing with the population. And you'd say, well, wh what are you doing to, to grow? Are you doing uh, all sorts of in-store promotions? And most of the in-store promotions are also done by these guys. So they kind of, you know, have a war and so forth. That sort of neutralizes out what's really going on. The secret reason that number two is growing is basic service brilliance is not fumbling the ball or throwing interceptions that would be the four percent that get you know accidentally bad service and leave as often as the competition is fumbling the ball away or throwing interceptions to the the high performance team so that's the idea of how service excellence in a mature industry wins by retaining customers at a greater rate than the competition now in distribution a customer may not switch all their business. They may decide to start buying certain categories of items from someone else, or they may call a distributor first and they don't have something, they don't have something, they don't have something, they call another distributor second, and that guy always has it. Finally, they say, you know, if I have to call the second guy anyway, maybe I'll call him first. And so the volume flips from 80% going to the first guy to 80% going to the second guy. The second guy still gets to the, the first guy still gets 20%. Uh, but the customer doesn't announce, or maybe even consciously aware that they've, they've just sort of fallen into a habit of going somewhere else first and then somewhere else second. Um, so they're very subtle, but lots of this is going on underneath the financially averaged out numbers that we look at. So that's uh, one uh, concept piece of the whole service excellence retention story. We'll look at some more. Thanks.